the University of Sega traces its origins back to the 16th century with the foundation of the Academia in Cluj, located in contemporary Romania. Due to the political circumstances after the First World War, the university found a new home in Seged in 1921. Thirty years later, the Faculty of Medicine formed an independent institution under the name Medical University of Seged, known as Sote. In 1987, the Medical University assumed the name of its former biochemistry professor, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, Rector, and Nobel Prize laureate, Albert St. Gyurgi, who was first to isolate vitamin C extracted from paprika. The Albert St. Gyurgi Medical University became again an integrated part of the University of Seged in the year 2000. The Faculty of Medicine has always strived to meet the challenges of its time. Following the educational trends in Hungary, it decided to launch an English language medical program, which started with 34 foreign students in the academic year 1985-86. The English pharmacy and dentistry programs were also introduced later on. Nowadays, the Faculty of Medicine hosts approximately 900 international students who study either in the English language or in the two-year German language program. Let me start from the beginning. I was the dean at that time, and Professor Kovac from the OBGYN clinic and then Professor uh, Joseph Mornar was also the vice dean from the Department of Microbiology. An increasing interest uh, came in that time, and I think uh, uh, partly because in some countries, the, uh, in, there was a limit for, for the admissions and uh, who just couldn't uh, get into the universities. They were looking for, for other possibilities. This is the prestige. If Budapest could arrange an English class, I think we could do it the same way. Fees for, for the universities were very significantly increasing. While, while in Hungary, that was uh, very acceptable for, for, for the students who, who wanted to come here. The first recruitment was a little difficult, namely, we haven't had any <coughs> Uh, good connections to foreign universities, uh, to foreign students, and therefore we try to use our personal connections. And that was not very, not very easy. We had some help from the diplomatic offices abroad. The way how we recruit the student it was the uh, writing of the Hungarian embassies all over in Europe and outside Europe. The first year the admission procedure was very easy. We have checked only the results of the high school and if the results uh, were good we thought okay these students uh, are ready for our university and they can come. And later, from the next year, we had the entrance examination. So we had to sit down with each student and then finding out what is their knowledge, biology, physics, what is their interest, and what, what was the qualification, what they could from their high school. The entrance examination was as difficult as for the Hungarian students, a written part and also an interview with the student, and it was mostly abroad. Or parallel, parallelly, some students came to Seged. In the third generation, we had a lot of students from Greece. From Egypt, I said that already what was important for that one. They came here. From Eastern countries, from the Middle East. Also from Canada, United States, Germany, Syria, Israel, Iran, 
came from India, for example. There's a huge need for uh, medical professionals all over the world. The number of students are doubled in the past uh, 10 years or so, including new nations like we have British students, Nigerian students, we have Japanese students, and then since then we are perhaps using little charms in order to make our lectures as well as our uh, uh, exams more successful. I, I guess the students are developing as the society is developing. The students can uh, get more and more relevant information from the internet. They can, they can have access to the best uh, universities' homepages. They can compare all the teaching materials with ours. We are teaching a millennium generation, the uh, Y and Z generation, and perhaps we need to appreciate the fact that they are, uh, tend to delay uh, or tend to push out the time when they become adults. Foreign students have to face the, that they are in a completely new cultural environment. So therefore for them, adaptation plus uh, the medical studies are very, uh, uh, very demanding. Most memorable ones are the cultural nights, the cultural evenings. And if you are not familiar with uh, this topic, I urge you to log on our web pages and uh, download or watch some of the programs. And you will understand why I like these programs very much. I have also very good memories with lectures when the students come to me and uh, start to ask uh, questions because I know that I was uh, motivating them and sometimes we sit down after the lecture and, and go into details because, because they are interested and they, it indicates also they picked up something which was uh, important for them. There are a lot of great things about this university, but perhaps the thing that students enjoy most is that they're able to study in an international environment with culture, cultures from all over the world. We created SUMA, what is uh, Seged University Medical Alumni Association, um, which we are really, like the whole main idea of this organization is to build a network of students that can help the present students to make their life easier after like, they graduate finding jobs, getting a better clinical knowledge, and so on. The current plans for the faculty are numerous. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, increase the capacity um, in all respect, uh, but at the same time, we would like to maintain the quality uh, as well. So we have to face a lot of uh, new developments because all buildings are old, therefore they need renovation and also we'd like to have a new uh, building for education and research. We need to increase substantially our teaching staff. We don't have enough uh, places for basic science subjects as well as for clinical rotation. Especially we need to increase the quantity and the quality of the clinical rotation. And also we have to improve all equipments, we have to improve all uh, scientific methods and also we have to improve the uh, circumstances for better practical education. In addition to our classical rigid, oftentimes called Prussian system, uh, perhaps we need to give more on-hand experience to the student. Um, um, I would uh, especially prefer skill training uh, facilities, actor-based, doctor-patient simulation games. Um, and also we need to reintroduce 
qualified professionals from the, from the regional hospitals to teach students again like it was 30 years ago. So in the Alumni Association we have two main goals. Uh, one is to make life a lot easier for students who are graduating, to create a huge network uh, of graduate students all over the world, um, and to uh, make it easier for students to transition into these different countries. Uh, the second goal is to help the current students who are still studying here in Sagan. And they are very good friends when they're here, but when they graduate, they just go home. We want these students to come back and also help, help the present students. Uh, we'd love to celebrate the 60th anniversary as well.